while they still had a sexly sh sexly sexly hey everyone welcome back to another video on my thoughts on movies and stuff today's video is on shang chi and the legend of the ten rings marvel's first asian-led superhero movie and maybe one of the best marvel movies we've seen to date shang chi a master of multiple martial arts disciplines is forced to confront his past after being drawn into the insidious Ten Rings organization. Very short synopsis, though they left out the part where the leader of the Ten Rings is his dad. I think that's it's worth mentioning, bro. <laughs> now the guys are just about ready to kick it, but before I hand it over to them, like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified about every time we upload. After that, visit our Patreon and let us hold a dollar. Also, shout out to our Patreon bros who help make this video possible. Your names will show up at the end of the video. All done subscribing? Great. On with the show. Shang-Chi. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, it's a Marvel movie. What do you mean? I mean, the things that make it beautiful are being held back by the things that make it Marvel. How so? This is Shang-Chi master of hand-to-hand -hand combat and most weapons son of the legendary shu and wu exactly so i'm expecting these beautifully shot wide angles with these long action takes you know with no disturbances I I i'm sorry did we not watch the same movie I I is that not what we got it is until the marvel aspects took over like what oh don't play dumb you know what oh you mean the color-coded energy blasts the normal weapons that also have electricity. A secret organization that controls everything. The oblivious comedy. Color-coded factions in a large CGI final battle in the third act. Daddy issues. Giant CGI kaiju fighting each other. Of course, <laughs> we can't forget the giant CGI kaiju. Wait, no, that's new. <laughs> gotcha. Well, he still had a sexy shirtless protagonist scene. Ah! We didn't get one of those for Black Widow or Captain Marvel. Okay, but that's not fair. Because they're women. I don't know what bothers me most. The fact that you're trying to get me cancelled or that you actually have a point. <laughs> I'd win either way. But you're absolutely right, if I'm being truly honest. It's a Marvel movie. But we didn't go to watch anything else. That's what we went to go see. Yeah, I know. You're right. It would just be cool if they showed some more variety, you know? Took some more risks. Baby steps. Guy to baby steps. I will admit that Shang-Chi is proof that Marvel could be a lot more innovative if they just weren't so stuck to their format. But even so, let's, let's enjoy what we have. I guess. There was one other thing though. And what's that? When Wenwu said that their mother was locked behind a gate in Kung Fu Heaven. Kung Lan? No, the other Kung Fu Heaven. Shang-Chi and Xia Ling were so quick to treat him like he was crazy. Yeah, because he was nuts. He's lived for over a thousand years due to the power of magic fashion accessories in a world where half the population could disappear on a Tuesday. The world is nuts. He's not nuts. Mm, well, when you put it like that. You see, I'm more interested in the parts of Shang-Chi where he ran away from his father. Well, what do you know? I actually had the exact same thought. Young Shang-Chi was devoted to the cause, and he only turned away after his first kill. Exactly! Too convenient. And he doesn't exactly strike me as a quitter. Me too. Maybe that's something that the Multiverse of Madness can maybe deal with? Shang-Chi. But evil. I feel like there's one more thing worth shouting out though. What's that? I'm not sure if you noticed, but Ronnie Chang, Michelle Yeoh, and Aquafina got that Disney money and that Crazy Rich Asians money. Oh, holy sh... But I don't know, guys. What do you think? Was Shang-Chi a Marvel movie like never seen before? Or was it a motionless, derivative drag? I truly think this might be the best Marvel movie to date. But luckily for me, I'm not single. It's for sure in the top three, and I've just, I've got so many good things to say about it. Firstly, the action was not what I expected. When I watched the first trailer, I thought that we were going to get an hour, 40 minutes of Disney foo. And if anybody's seen enough Marvel movies, they know exactly what I'm talking about. But this movie did not disappoint. 
I also wasn't expecting any wuxia elements, but those are probably one of the best parts of the film. And from start to finish, you can just feel all of this inspiration. Just, it, it, it's, a, it's a visual meld of so many classics and, and the work of legends like Jackie Chan. And you see a lot of influence of like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. And this is coming from somebody who's just a basic martial arts movie fan. I'm sure that there's far more in the movie that other people would be able to point out. There's also a lot of interesting ways in which the movie keeps your attention as both a normal viewer and also a Marvel fan. Like, what is Wong doing? There's so much mystery around Wong. Like, what is he doing taking part in underground fighting competitions? And why is he working with Abomination? Also, why is he so unhinged? He's, he's not at his post. He's out getting into fights and singing karaoke. Remember when he was just a librarian? Bruh. I also feel like they've left a lot open for future Marvel productions, as Marvel always does in anything they do. One thing that really caught my attention is how Talo used to be expanded into other dimensions as well. And that could easily lead into the film appearance of the Iron Fist. Especially because the dragon in the third act doesn't actually have a name, they just refer to it as the Great Protector. But listen, I'm just one lowly guy on YouTube. When it comes to Marvel things, I actually don't like to speculate because I like being taken by surprise. So do with that information what you will. I'm gonna wait and see. And I just have to say that the cast was absolutely phenomenal. They blew me in ways I didn't expect to be blown away. And I mean, I love Simu, I love Aquafina, and now I'm even a fan of Menger. But they just... They were so good, especially S Simu looked so good, considering that, to my knowledge, I think he actually might have had some martial arts training as a kid. He did mention that in an interview once, but I think for the greater part of his adulthood, at least, he's had no martial arts training and he only trained for this movie and he looked fantastic. But Tony Lung leads the pack. I know he's a legend. I know that he's notorious in Eastern cinema. But he, he just stole the show. He brought a level of emotion that was unparalleled in this film. And it really shows in his performance. You just sit there watching him do his thing and you're like, wow, this, this guy's acting. You know what I mean? Which leads me to my last point. This is something you have to watch in cinema. I only really got one watch out of this before I could do this review. I was so swept away. I didn't have time to make notes. I didn't want to make notes. I wanted to know everything that happened next because this movie is that good. One of the things I kept saying at the end of the movie was that I felt like I had just watched live action Dragon Ball Z. And much like a few other people on the internet, this has revived my hope for a live action Dragon Ball Z movie that doesn't suck. Don't give me hope. But truly it was beautiful and what the special effects team did with the Ten Rings was beyond anything I could have ever imagined. Listen, if you're a Marvel fan, if you're a martial arts movie fan, if you're just a fan of having an exhilarating experience while watching a movie, then you should watch Shang-Chi. You can thank me later. Rotten Tomatoes gave this film... Rotten... T <laughs> oh my god. Rotten Tomatoes gave this film 93%. Wow. And IMDb gave it a solid 8 out of 10. I don't think I've seen a single 8 out of 10 throughout this entire year. That's absolutely insane. Right now, I don't know what the highest Marvel movie rating is at the moment, but I th this has to come close. This has to come close if it doesn't beat it. I'm probably gonna shock a bunch of you and go ahead and give this movie a 4.7 out of 5. I had that much fun. Yeah. But that's all from me, guys. Give this video a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified about every time we upload. After that, visit our Patreon and let us hold a dollar. And once again, a special thanks goes to the Patreon bros so you can see on screen. Thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you for believing in our content. And thank you for helping us do this so that we can continually give it to the public for free. I don't know what the next video is going to be on, 
Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see a video on my thoughts on next. And I will see you next Thursday with another video on my thoughts on movies or series and stuff. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.